So this question asks, what is the best mineral tinted sunscreen from the drugstore? And we will compare the two that I like the best. So what are the pros and cons of tinted mineral sunscreens? One is, you know, you have to put sunscreen on your neck so it gets on your clothes and the tint really messes up like the collar of your shirt. So that's one. Two, if you are one to reapply your sunscreen, can you imagine how much color <laughs> you will have on your face if you use a tinted mineral sunscreen to reapply? And three, getting your perfect match from a drug a drugstore sunscreen is close to impossible. The pros would be it gives you coverage. So if you like a little bit more coverage on your face and not want foundation, tinted sunscreens are the way to go for sure. And two, I find that mineral tinted sunscreens are a lot easier to spread for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they have to use something to blend the... I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, they're typically easier to spread because they're more um, wetter in application, in my opinion, in my opinion. So we have the CeraVe Tinted Mineral Sunscreen, if you can see that, and the Eucerin Mineral Sunscreen. CeraVe is 30 SPF and the Eucerin is 35 SPF. So we're going to apply on one side this and the other side the Eucerin. So let's apply the Eucerin on this side of the face. I have to cut it because I'm almost done. So let's cut this baby open. <laughs> so there's actually just a little bit in there. So let's try it. I mean, let's put it on this side. Now I've never just used one hand to apply. <laughs> Whoa. To apply sunscreen. So this is actually very new for me. <laughs> So I'm going to try to give it like an even split. Let's get the ears, you know. Let's get the ears. And that's one half of it. As you can tell, it's dewy. And there's no white cast. Which is the beauty of tinted mineral sunscreen. So how do we look like? Normal, right? A little dewy, but normal. So there you go. That's one. So you can actually see the tint starting to form. This one's obviously a little bit more tan than this side of my face. I still have sunscreen, by the way. <laughs> so now let's try the Eucerin one on this side of the face. It's a pump, by the way. You can see that. Can you see that? It's a pump. So let's pump it out. Pump it out. It actually puts out a lot, which is nice. I think this can do my whole face. So I need to use two hands for this because, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's harder for me to do one hand with that much in it. And I'm not gonna lie, this one is a little bit drier in formulation. And even the way you spread this one, it's a little bit drier. <clears throat> so let me just put that here. I don't know if my line of demarcation is <laughs> even. <laughs> Probably not. So there it is. And we're gonna let that soak and see how dark this one is compared to that one. Because there is a difference. So let's wait a little bit. And I also want to put what's remaining on my hands. I just mixed both of these together because that's what was remaining on my hands and put it on my neck. The back of my neck, front of my neck, and on my ears. And this is a problem with wearing a white shirt and tinted sunscreen, especially if you're gonna put it on your neck. It gets messed up and all my white shirts are like this and as well as my any colored shirt basically. So maybe you wanna buy a separate sunscreen for your neck. That's the only caveat with um, tinted sunscreens. So they just get everywhere they're messy. <laughs> so these are the two sunscreens, CeraVe and Eucerin, and they're both settled in my face and you can tell the difference for yourself, I hope. <laughs> and if you can, I'll tell you. Okay, so the CeraVe is definitely darker and more moisturizing for sure, while the user inside is a lot lighter and it's a little bit drier in consistency. So this one is more for moisturizing and if you're darker and this one is for um, oilier skin maybe and if you are lighter. I think you can tell the color difference when I'm like this. You can tell this is a little bit lighter here than this is definitely more orange and this is i don't know 
peach. <laughs> and I find they both also wear differently under makeup. So since this is more moisturizing, I feel like makeup blends better on this. And this one is a little bit drier, so this can get patchy at times. And I'll show you. So we're going to use the Ilia concealer. I like this concealer a lot, to be honest. So this is the Eucerin side again. And this is the CeraVe side. And let's blend it. Simultaneously. <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell the difference, but just trust me on this. This one is a little bit more moisturizing, so makeup wear is better under it, in my opinion. Or at least these concealers, they blend out better. And this one can sometimes look patchy, but it's not bad. It's like just a tad bit more dry, okay? So here it is blended out. I don't think you can tell the difference, but... I do find a lot of times this user inside the concealer cakes up a little bit more depending on possibly how dry my skin is. But this one, no matter how dry my skin is, um, the CeraVe one I mean, no matter how dry my skin is, the CeraVe tinted one is so moisturizing that it'll never cake up on me, my concealer at least. So yeah. And of course, no look is complete without blush, so smile. <laughs> So this is how I apply it straight from the stick. And this again is an Ilia one. It is in At Last. And this is their multi-stick. And that's all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so again, Eucerin. This is CeraVe. And let's blend out this rather dry um, blush or multi-stick from them. And to be honest, by the touch of it, you can tell that CeraVe one is definitely more moisturizing. Because my face feels wetter. <laughs> and this one feels a little bit more dry. So there is a difference. So let's blend it out. Okay, look at that. <laughs> and there you have it. Let me fix my hand. Ooh. So that's the blush. Again, I can tell. This is, looks more blended out, doesn't it? And this one has a little bit of a line right there. Because it's... A little bit drier, the user inside. I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> so to answer the question above, what would be the best in my opinion and which one would I purchase again? Mm. Honestly, while I do like the CeraVe formula better because it's a little bit more moisturizing and dewy and you just look very, I don't know, seamless, I guess. The user in one I can just use throughout the year. This one's too dark for me throughout the year. This one... In the winter, summer, spring, fall, I can wear this. This one I could not. And this one has, you know, higher SPF by 5. I don't know if that would make a difference. But yeah, I would just um, buy this again because of the color. You know, sadly, it's more about the vanity of it. <laughs> but yeah, for me, user and wins. Um, yeah, you try it out. But don't, you know, skip on this either. Try both of them and you let me know, actually. Actually, yeah, let me know. Comment below which one you like more. And... Thanks for watching.